You know the program Good Money from Benin, the Richie from Independent Television. Uh, the matter when they forgot, the matter when they say concern the doctors for our country, Nigeria, <laughs> the leg where they put for trust with the federal government, bless it, they never ready to remove the leg. So they so the minister when they say they charge for labor and uh, employment, Chris Ngige, he say uh, the one they say the doctors talk, say they see their salary, say no correct. But as it be, we get, we get in touch with the president of the National Association of Resident Doctors, Dr. Uyilawa. Uh, or why so you, you go call the name where well because the guy probably they call this name most times. You call her where well, uh, when well in BCSA journals. Uh, Doctor, uh, why so you? Good morning. Okay, oh, why so you? Okay. Okay, we go manage. Uh, if I okay, man, they call you you now. If last now you go good pass. Uh, we go just take okay. Most yeah, stick to Uyi. Uyi, Uyi okay, yes. uh, okay, Uyi, it's okay. Uh, you know what you did there? Before we be say we go take uh, you. Mo ask you the question. Mo just play this small report when it be say the minister of uh, labor and employment, yes. Chris Gige, he say the two on a talk say you know correct. May we refresh our viewers. May we refresh, uh, refresh the way to the minister talk. Dr. Chris Ngege was speaking at the meeting of the Presidential Committee on Salaries with the leadership of the Joint Health Sector Union, Johesu, in Abuja. He said the allegations raised by the striking doctors are not the reality on the ground, insisting that the alarm is to pitch the people against government despite efforts to reposition the health sector. Dr. Ngege insisted that no doctor, nurse, pharmacist, or any other health worker is owed monthly salary as government has continued to pay as and when due. Nobody is owed monthly salary. Nobody is owed monthly salary. For example, the doctors say that their members are owed monthly salaries. This and those owed monthly salaries among the doctors are those who were illegally recruited. Illegally recruited. Those people who even did illegal recruitment should be punished severely. Thomas Sado reporting. Uh, Dr. Uyi, you hear what the minister talk there now? He just played the report now. He said the one one and talk said they seize yeah. una salary. Say that one no correct. I want me to take her off from there. Thank you so much. Um, um, Dr. Uyi, now i to the president of Nigeria and assistant of the doctors. We talk with minister talk. Uh, we talk from two sides of the mouth. Mm. The first time we don't talk like is to Nigerians and it's filling if um filling um, the presidents with lies. As we speak now, none of our members have been paid salaries for all those things. Even when we came to the meeting, I love you, they also let up with the contempt of court. Say um say we not be really stop all hostilities. We must stop all hostilities, but we are already meant in hostilities on our members and we stop their salary. And they didn't in a hurry to go to court to serve us for content of court, whether they use expired court stamp with names not well spelled out and things are not going well. But even when they tried to cover the line, I see you make many, many, many mistakes. What he said on TV is are all lies. And you stop making excuses for what you've done to for about your own 57 days now. Uh, Dr. Oyelawa, bless your network for that side. They get issue with them, but uh, we'll continue to the work on them. Um, make we see how this year say we will take uh, continue with that uh, interview. But the interim, what you say we will do now? Uh, why would they try to work up on them? Um, our engineers they try to do some things to to make sure say yes, we get the thing uh, rightly. You go agree with me, our people for how say this issue of doctor strike and all of that. It get the way it be. You never see end now. People they die every day, and uh, we they hear now say people they die all the time for different, different kind of sickness. And the federal government, uh, the state government, talk to you, people they die where well, where well, people will not take vaccines. You know, for COVID nineteen they, they die. Uh, maybe like say doctors then they are around for free help us uh, look after them. But all the same, 
Will they try to make sure, say, yes, the team uh, work out where? Uh, will they try to reconnect with our brother, uh, Dr. Oyi, the Nigerian Association Resident Doctors President, so he could talk to us? So, will they try to see, get that once it gets through, we will continue for where we stop. We don't come back again. We deal with uh, Dr. Oyi. You know, see, I know they call the name full, man. I'm not going to make a mistake again because they already talk and say, he go find me. Say, I'll be beneath myself. I'll not call the name where. Uh, Dr. Oyi, I know you see, with us. So, we did talk just now about uh, Mr. Minister of Labor and uh, Employment for what you talk. You say, what you talk, no correct. I want me to continue from there before we got a network issue just now. Thank you. Apologies for the network problems. Okay. Um, as you said, when you go meet uh, the presidency for Villa, Mm. They tell the presidency and tell the whole nation, say they are not owning any doctors apart from illegal doctors. Mm. It's quite a shame when person will be doctor, the toxic people are illegal doctors mm. with, that were employed illegally. These are doctors who don't work for over at least two to three years. Mm. I've been paid proud now until December. They don't pay them for four months, January, February, March. Mm. And now all of a sudden, because of your antics and politics, you know they talk illegal doctors. The people like those people are not supposed to be not supposed to do in your office because if you do your office now, so you can do rumors and lies. And we didn't misinform Nigerians generally. What do you have for say the uh, government don't pay all those people they owe? You pay people for five to seven months salary, you never pay one. People will die for the night and uh, twenty one nineteen people now to uh, people don't join them. So there are more of twenty one people who don't die of president doctors, you never do anything about them. Then all of a sudden it's easier for you to say that illegal doctors on a loot. But, but I, I, I want to find out for uh, 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 Mr. President, I want to find out from you how Unati they recruit people into the system. Now, now they do it, or how did they recruit doctors into the system? Nigeria is a resident doctor to not recruit people. Okay. The federal government of Nigeria recruits people through the chief medical directors okay. for each of, the hospital, or each of the hospitals. Okay. So, yeah. okay, we want to know. Okay. There are letters that shows that you have an employment okay. that is given by the chief medical directors for the other federal ministry of health. So okay. it's quite strange when it when it calls the people they illegally employed. Okay, I want to find out from you, the, uh, uh, Presido. You see, this matter when we say a day for ground, I see don't drag on for all of that. You feel say no middle ground, especially now when we say they see the rate of people when they die from medical conditions, especially the ones that when they say they related to COVID nineteen. You never reached time to now to reach middle ground over this matter. You, you, you don't reach middle ground with people that are trying to kill you. People in the mail stop saying you get content of court, even they use wrong stamp, they stamp the stamp letter to you the content. Mm. And now you want you want to follow middle ground. People that they go for about five to seven months, what have you done about them? Do you think that someone that cannot afford to not pay uh, to have basic necessities, not even pay school fees for children, as a time I don't start now when, when schools don't start? Children don't go back to school. Now that you know, you, 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 you rent, say the landlord would say, because you don't, 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 pay, you don't go pay your rent. How do you expect me to put in work for any, any person? Those are basic things of life where you don't need to struggle for. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Oyi, so Dr. Oyi, you know what I'm saying? When I read papers, okay, when I read papers the other day, I see, say, the NARD, the NMA, now saying they blame the minister. Of labor and employment, Gigi. Because I say, now make a one say this strike, see, they go on for ground. I don't understand that the minister, the owner, have been a federal government, the owner. You go blame your own brother to the uh, minister of health. Okay. Sadie and everything. The problems that we get soon are mostly because of the ministry. It has been too sound. We have not met with him, we have met with him just twice, telling us out of morality, go and call off a strike. Mm. You call off strike for, for what you do not fit even. No, it's in the other for your ministry. We had no business going on this strike if everything we ask for have been answered. There are basic things when people uh, when, 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 when work, they do. If any person not want to do work, he deserves to be paid salaries. Okay, if, if, you, if you, no, 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 I, 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 I don't mean go too far. I want to make a final something. You accuse me now, say, I don't call your name where. Say, I don't call your name where. Say, I'll be there for Bini and the rest. 
and you say this man now, nah, your brother, you be being man, the man has been man. So why you not fit us? You say, Mona fit you not to sit down, we're gonna do this thing for the national interest, make you explore that Bini connection one and get take the one. If he has, if he has thrown a hand to help us with Bini connection, mm. I don't sacrifice my people because of any Bini connection. Mm. First, like the people I didn't leave. We have 16,000 doctors. Okay. If they're not doctors because of Bini man, I will sacrifice my, my own members because of him. That's one. Mm. Two, people when they work, they, you know, to give them their own money. Those who lost to COVID-19, about 21 of them, we don't want to talk about their families. Mm. We don't go down to for streets. We don't even know where their daily bread will come from. Mm. Some more important things. Mm. That's why they don't give you a hundred and fifty-seven days to act on the basic things where you need to act on. As you still not act on, and instead you rather go to a court to help you act or help you gain or do what you're supposed to do. That's a failure. But the man talking now, now the minister of. Uh... Labor and employment, you talk and say one sure way to end this whole thing. He say they go remove the case from courts if we not go back to work. Why not go back to work when they remove the case from courts? We don't be small children. Some of our from courts. Okay. Courts is on the fifteenth of September. And from there we take it from there. If you carry the single courts, we also get lawyers we go for carry court. No first no no more first go court they win case. They are basically the court. The court, the justice system is very good, and we, we believe in the justice system. If you go court in the in the ground, say we, um, all, all, everything don't break down, and the negotiations were not going on, which was not true. We still have negotiations even without a rep under the guidance of the speaker of the house. And you, you could, have, and you said also that they will not follow the ILO rules regulations of, of 15 days. We gave you over 60 days of notice. That shows the insincerity of government. You cannot go and fill a court with wrong information and you feel that you can always win because you are inside of government. The people who are in the court, when the judge will do the court, they still get integrity where they will keep, where they will want to uphold. So, person if you just come out for any lie and come like a write up a paper, and you confess because you take government to say, well, the uh, position where you be, you don't go back up for them. That garbage in, garbage out. So, you go to the come. One day you will still come up for them. And they will ask you the next time you eat for your, your family and the Nigerian doctors. And think come to think of he's a doctor also. Because you are in the you are in politics that you want to destroy the avenue you went through. It's quite a shame actually. Okay, before I go let you come out now, I go find out from you. Waiting be the way out of this thing now. Because whether you like him or not, as they touch people when they for especially people when they for grand now, people like us. Because I know if you carry my children go abroad, go give them Medicare. Sometimes I know if we carry them go Right, to go uh, carry the go private uh, clinics and the rest to take care of them. How we go do now for this matter, my brother, Doctor Oyelawa? What will be the way out of this wahala? Way, way out of it. The death and service insurance for the twenty-one uh, members we died. At least make the next of kin get up. Those people the way they way they have salaries for seven months now. They, they pay their salaries. If the those people get uh, the uh, problem with their American carries and training fund, they should do that, and they should improve on the health structures of the country. Because you don't have to go anywhere for even UBT for the whole Nigeria, for the whole zones. What you're talking is one hospital day good enough to compare with any other one for outside. In the nineteen fifties they become they become um they become, become Nigeria called the ticket for health care. Now at any small headache with the travel go outside, they use the land uh, money for medical tourism. Those are things we need to stop. And the people have to ask government questions. Which thing will they do with our head structure? Dr. Oye Lawa, thank you so, so much. We, we, you, you don't tell us so much. We thank you so, so much. We got the blessing next time we'll be saying so we'll talk again for this same matter. Uh, no, this kind of one, we'll look, say, yes, say, the, the strike, everything we don't end. So, Dr. Uh, Oye Lawa, or why, so you, I'll be calling away for me, I bet, the last time. Oye Lawa, or why, Okay, thank you so, so much. Uh, you do want me to join? You, you do want to join us? Uh, we talk since our brother and friend, the national, the president of the Nigeria Association of Resident Doctors, Doctor Oye Lawa uh, Ohwai Suyi. Uh, don't tell us say hope day, uh, but now after it be say the matter when be say they for court on the fifteenth. Just look at and government meet their own side of the demand too. We not say for nothing they go meet that this whole matter go day behind us. We will take some more break now. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. The name of the program. Good morning from Benin.